Here we are in the cathedral. It's a beautiful sunny day. It's Wednesday and we're already rolling with the festival. We've got conductors working, we've got composers working on the courses and today the writers join us so they start their work. Uh, tomorrow the festival officially starts and we've got a gala performance at the auction mart of Carmen which I have seen some rehearsals of and looks absolutely fantastic. I think it's going to be really interesting in that auction mart space. Um, then there are, I suppose there are many highlights in this festival. Um, the festival chorus I heard rehearsing the other night, they're looking good and I think it's going to be a, a fantastic concert on Sunday night. Bolivian choir turns up quite soon and uh, they're extraordinary and I think they're going to be very special, especially singing here in the cathedral. They've come all the way from Bolivia, doing very few dates in the UK um, and they're such a, an exciting, exuberant, young choir that I think they're not to be missed. Um, we have some other uh, wonderful concerts, wonderful singers, particularly um, in Catherine Wynne Rogers, who's doing a recital and singing in Child of Our Time. We've got Gwyneth Ann Jeffers, who's also doing a, a recital and again singing in a Child of Our Time. Both of these voices are just amazing. Uh, they're some of the UK's greatest singers, so really worth getting along to hear them in some capacity or other. Um, for younger people, we've got, we've got a show called By the Seat of Your Pants, which is a clown, mime, physical theatre, comedy, um, very exciting, very hysterical, and uh, they work with some chairs, that's about all. It sounds a little boring, but actually they um, do some amazing things, and it's very, very exciting, uh, very funny, and lasts about an hour. Great for all the family, and I think, uh, I hope many people will see that. It's touring around all the islands, um, but we'll be in Kirkwall Arts Theatre. And if you want, you're a little more grown up and you want a, an entertaining show, then try and get along to the ENSA Entertainment. Um, it ain't half cold, Mum. At the moment, Kirkwell's quite warm, it's sunny, but um, might not normally be that way. So, uh, it ain't half cold, Mum is a revival of the concert party with a magician, singing, band, acting, comedy, slapstick, um, you name it. And that's going to be in the Nest Battery and then in the Arts Theatre and the Gable End Theatre. Many opportunities to see it. and. Uh, I think that would be a very, very exciting show. As well as Carmen, other pieces of music theatre are happening at the Picacoy Centre, um, and that will be a double bill. Probably uh, slightly more profound, more eccentric, more interesting to uh, see because it's a piece of modern um, contemporary music theatre. The first is by Peter Maxwell Davis, uh, and that's a piece called Miss Donathorne's Maggot, which uses the character um, that um, Dickens based his Miss Havisham on. So this is a lady who's rather eccentric. She's in a, a wedding dress which she's been in since she was jilted at the altar many, many years ago and she eccentrically um, shrieks, sings and explains her story. All this is set against the backdrop of an ensemble on stage but also a film created by Dundee Art School. Um, as well as that, as a double bill, the other side of the programme is a piece called Three Roses which uh, tells the story of a uh, uh, SKP from Auschwitz who um, was a violinist and um, this is the reason he survived. By playing music he um, found himself able to leave the concentration camp. It's a very deep and profound um, uh, reminiscence I suppose you could say for baritone and other tour de force with ensemble. Both these pieces are quite profound I suppose and they're quite deep but they're also um, highly engaging and extraordinary and you can see one performance on Friday night, that's the 22nd in the Picacoy Centre, and then we repeat those um, on the 27th, that's the Wednesday again in the Picacoy Centre. Those performances are also being taken for a commercial DVD, so there will be some cameras around filming those kind of things, which is quite exciting that those our performances at St Magnus Festival will actually be captured forever and appear as a commercial DVD.